It's Lori from the Live With Vitality Collective. And today we are here to talk about um, what our gateway was to healthy living. You know, if you really kind of think back on uh, your own journey, and that's that's what, what you're going to hear from us today is, uh, and it, it's kind of fun, like to, to think back to that. Honestly, I'm finding it kind of fun. But um, yeah, you're going to hear several different stories here. So um, I'll just start with mine. And I have to say, when it was a really big aha for me was in my 20s. I was 26. I had just been traveling. And um, I had a wicked ice cream habit. This has happened to me actually a couple of times in my life. <laughs> I didn't get it the first time around. So it came back around again. Um, I gained so much weight when I was traveling because I was eating ice cream. This was a this was like a group ritual that we did. And I came home after this trip. And this was a trip that I was on for, I don't know, a few months and uh, living in St. John. And um, we were we were walking a lot. We were very um, athletic, like hiking and all the things. But what I was eating was a lot of sugar and a lot of dairy. And when I came home, I was like, I couldn't fit into any of my other clothes. And so it was like, what is going on? Like, I am 26. This should not be happening, right? So that is really what got me curious about what what did I do? What, what was different? What did I do differently from, you know, from the time that I left until the time that I came back? And uh, yeah, that was uh, uh, a big wake up call for me. So I am going to uh, pass it off to Hannah, and she's going to share a little bit about her journey. Thank you, Laurie. And that's interesting because my gateway was actually a weight loss summit. Uh, I was, it was my third child. So I was, uh, my third child, Maxine, was two months old. And of course, like moms, you know, we eat everything because we have uh, so much work and we don't really take care of ourselves and the weight loss summit was hosted by the founder of the institute for the eating psychology from which i graduated several years after and there was there were so many excellent speakers that i like on that day like i was watching the weight loss summit with one beer like beer in one hand and salted peanuts in another hand but at this, on this day, I decided that I'm going to go full paleo and I started on the next day. And that was really when my journey started. And that was nine years ago. So nine and a half years ago. So, yeah, I'm going to pass it to Jeanette. Thank you, Hannah. Oh, <laughs> I must reflect too. Um Lori, when she said she was, I was also around in my 20s and I went to the United States for six months and I gained 40 pounds in six months. So just a change from being living in Sweden, in Europe and coming over here. So, but that wasn't really the first time I reflected. I tried to diet after that. But when I really changed my whole habit was when I, in my 40s, many years later, I got into fitness. I do endurance triathlons. And I kept taking all these sport drinks and sport things. And I just never connected all my GI issues to what I was eating. And so I finally started to eliminating things and realized because also my, my endurance fitness, it gave me a lot of, I was tired and fatigued after long workouts. But the worst thing was my uh, GI. So I have very issues a lot with my stomachs and bloating and things. And so I realized that a lot was whey. So I took that away from my, my whole diet and it made a huge difference. And that's when I started my journey looking into what really food and what crap I put in my body and I have always been taking for granted. So yeah, big change for me when I started getting into my fitness. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and give this to Chris. Hello there. Yes. Uh, so my gateway to a healthier living uh, started quite recently, actually. Uh, I recently discovered that I have a, a condition, uh, a male related condition. It's, it's, it is reasonably common. Uh, it can be managed. It's not life threatening or anything like that. It can be managed, but 
my grandfather did die of it and my father did have it. So it's uh, something that has to be looked after. So uh, I was just liking some of Hannah's posts. I do admire Hannah uh, quite a lot as someone who's in the team. And uh, I think someone must have told her or something to go and uh, 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 recruit me or, or talk to me or something like this about about joining Juice Plus. Um, so just finding out about my, my health condition and then uh, Hannah telling me about Juice Plus, it kind of, you know, the universe, I'm, I'm all about uh, law of attraction. You know, the universe knows what you want. So here's a problem. Here's a solution. So it's a kind of an instinctual thing. So uh, I just went with it, went for it. So my journey's kind of began now. Uh, so it's quite new. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited. Awesome. So thank I'll you. Pass on to, uh, yeah, I'll pass on <laughs> yeah. to you and now. Yeah, awesome, Chris. Thank you. And thank you, ladies, for all your input and, and reflections. Um, when I started to think about this, I was taken back to uh, my youth as well, like Lori. And um, my mom always gave us healthy foods and got me into yoga when I was five. And I feel like I've always had sort of a a forward um, thinking health consciousness. Um, but I definitely ate like crap towards the end of high school during sports, you know, just feeding my body because I was burning so, so, so much energy rowing crew and playing soccer. Um, and so a book fell in my lap my senior year um, during during kind of the height of crew season um, where it it's called Fit for Life. And it talked about vegetarianism and not eating meat and dairy and all of it. And so much of it was mind blowing stuff I had never heard before or knew before. Um, and it just, it really kickstarted my journey into believing that plants heal. Um, that book led me um, to continuing to study about microbiotics and I, the Ayurvedic lifestyle in college. And then after college, continuing even after that to study uh, herbalism. So really, really um, kind of for me, all dates back to to that, to that, to that one book. Of course, I'm sure another book would have come along if it wasn't fit for life. But um, yeah, I love all of these. Thank you, everybody, for your input and reflections. Um, it's cool to hear, you know, it could, your life, your, your life could take a trajectory and, and like Chris, your health journey could start now, um, or in your twenties or in your forties or after your third child. Right. So, um, it doesn't matter when you start. It's just, if this is the video that's, that's helped kind of kickstart, maybe one of those triggers for you to think maybe now is a good time to me, for me to start paying a little bit more attention to what I eat, um, then continue to follow what we do, reach out to the person that invited you, all of the things that we always say. So thanks for watching. Thanks for being a supporter of Live With Vitality. We're glad you're here. We're glad that you watch our videos and um, yeah, stick around. Thanks for watching everybody.